Hey, up party people, Watto here, and welcome to episode three of Drawing from Noel. For this episode, we'll be tackling my worst nightmare, disappointing my parents. Wait, what? No, what? I mean my worst drawing nightmare, which is coloring. Let me say this first. I am terrible at coloring. I was that kid that couldn't even color inside of the lines. So I guess I can only go up from here. I pretty much know nothing of color theory besides what the three primary colors are. And even then, I still have to think about it sometimes. There are three, right? So today, I'm going to be working on color theory as well as coloring with different mediums. First things first, to learn everything I can about color theory without going crazy. A mistake I found after finishing my shading video was that I was not nearly as knowledgeable as I should have been about the topic. So let's fix that and get into it. Five hours of me suffering squished into a minute time lapse. Nice. Now that I'm just about as pro as you can get at everything color, it's time to apply what I learned. One of the biggest mistakes I found that I was making was not adding enough value to my drawings. Looking back at my baseline drawing, even I could tell that I was too saturated and didn't have enough range of value in the colors. The first medium we'll be using are good old colored pencils. I've had this set for years and they still look brand new. Same as a shading episode, we'll be using a coloring book to practice. Ooh. I know, I know, but we are really trying to focus just on coloring. So let's throw down the book and get to it. I know I'm a little late to the party, but I decided to use a Spider-Man book to celebrate the new movie. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Although this is a Spider-Verse book, which is also amazing by the way, the bright colors and different styles of characters make this perfect to practice on. So let's get coloring.
I think it looks pretty good, but that took way longer than I expected. And I have a newfound respect for artists that use color pencils. It takes a lot of time and patience to build up layers and blend the colors. But now that we have a feeling for pencils, let's move on to markers. I really enjoyed using markers for my baseline drawing and I hope to get better at using them for my more traditional pieces. So let's do a page with the markers and see what we get. The more I use markers, the more I enjoy them, but they will take some time to get used to, especially learning how to blend them naturally. I'll have to practice that and do some more research on how to properly utilize them. Okay, now for my favorite type of medium, digital art. Now, the easiest way to get this onto my computer is just taking a picture of it and transferring it into Clip Studio. I'm hoping to get some really cool results with this. So let's get digital. And now we're ready.
had a good workflow going until I was about to start on Penny. Like, what is that? They did her dirty. So I'm just gonna do a real quick fix. pieces. Wow, in comparison to my baseline drawing, I feel like there's already been a huge improvement in the use of colors. I'm not just putting down colors willy-nilly anymore. But this was only a couple days worth of practice, so I'm excited to keep at it and create more vibrant pieces of my own. I left the background simple this time through, but we'll get to those eventually. For the next episode, we'll be working on figures and gestures. So until next time, stay true with a touch of you. It's not bad. You just have to use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs>